sketch. And uh, when I went to college, my subject was uh, biology. There you have to draw a lot of uh, anatomy, then botany, all those things comes in there. So all those drawings, I took an extra uh, sort of interest, you know, make it very fine, neat and like that. So that went on like that. Probably this must have been in me, there must have been a small spark. So once I left my education and uh, when I joined the services, initially I was in the Air Force for about eight years. So when I was there, I used to travel. I was in a VIP flight and I used to travel with the VIPs. So wherever they go, that VIPs means VVIPs mostly, uh, Prime Minister, President, then Defence Minister and the visiting dignitaries. So I used to travel with them. I was an engine fitter. These aircrafts were only handled by those crew. Nobody else was allowed to touch that. So while going like that, you know, I used to carry a sketchbook. So wherever we go, we stay for a day or so. There I used to go out, sketch something, get back like that. And one day, we were traveling from Delhi to Bombay. Then the VIP on board was Defense Minister V.K. Krishna Menon. So it was something I remember, it's about 3 o'clock in the early morning. This gentleman had a special thing, you know. He, wherever he goes, he wanted to reach there early morning. So accordingly, the flight plans were made. So we left Delhi at 3 o'clock and reached Bombay at about 6.30 or so. Those days, uh, the speed was not like this. I am talking about 60, 61. And uh, while in the traveling, flying, I sketched VK Krishna Menon with a pencil on my sketchbook. And when we landed, so I have shown him this sketch. And he immediately saw that he has a tendency to look like this, you know, over the specs. And he looked at me. He says, good. This is a divine gift, don't lose it, he told me, and he autographed it. It is with me here. And I, then I thought, there must be something in me. As a man of his caliber gives a remark like that, it must be something. come on leave. As a bachelor I used to go and stay in Cape Comrie. I used to stay some days in, off in Cape Kanyakumari. Then I used to go to the seaside, sit down and paint the sea. So like that I continued with that. Then uh, when I got married and all, whenever I get time I continued this hobby. And uh, the units where I served, the army units, they recognized this and they say, why don't you make something for the mess, of this mess. So paint to for them, so like that. By the time, see, then uh, there was another turning point in my life was I met Swami Chinmayananda in 1983. I used to read some of his books, so I had an opportunity to meet him also. So when I met him, I probably the charisma of that man attracted me. I liked his books, I liked his philosophy, and then I wrote a letter to him. I said I wanted to study something about. It. And he said, yes, we have got a lesson course on postal lessons we send you and we can study those things. So one year I studied Vedanta while in uniform, <laughs> which nobody does, you see. So I was studying that one year, 24 lessons, and they cover most of the philosophical things and the beautiful things. And I got a certificate which is with me, passed in Vedanta, signed by Swami Chinmananda. So when I read these books, I will see them actually. Sankaracharya's Bhaja Govindam, take for that. See, that is 20, 32 slogas in that. In one it says, Punaravi Jananam, Punaravi Maranam, Punaravi Janani, Jadare Shayanam. Then I see Maranam, Jananam, again Jananam, goes to Janani, Jadare. I visualize that thing. Then I make a sketch, you know. Then I start writing something, a script, sketch, then I go to the canvas. Similarly, I read Bible. Moses comes down. Moses goes up to the mountain. See, while Moses, they, he came from Egypt with all those uh, people, like slaves and all those things, you know. Then he reaches Mount Sinai. Then from the top of the hill, he heard a sound, Moses, you alone come up, leave the rest of the people down. So I see the rest of the people standing down, Moses going up, kneeling down, and the sound comes up. That is a painting as far as for me. Similarly, the resurrection of Jesus, when I read the Bible, the Mariam goes next day to embalm the body. They opened that uh, thing, that, you know, that coffin. They found the body was not there. 
the angels came up. They said he has been raised. So that's a painting. Fled in, uh, not, uh, yeah, fled in Alepi and all, you know, a lot of crops uh, damaged uh, in those days. So, those days when these crops damaged, so, uh, suicide of the farmers. So, I read the newspaper, sit down in the evening and think, the crops under water, the man hanging up, the people looking up, there's a painting. And then the relief work. See, the mother, grandmother, the child goes and sit down like this to get something from the woman as rations with the empty baskets. That is another painting. Then another thing is a sight nowadays in our places. This consumption of liquor among Malayalis is too much. If you take the statistics, you know, in Onam, Diwali and all the people drink so much. So I was thinking, why people waste so much of money like this? So I, there is a painting I have made. Papa comes home with his bottle. There is a painting by Revi Verba. Here comes Papa. That, that mother is showing her child that Papa is coming. But Papa is not there, but with that, you know, she is so happy to receive his, uh, that Papa. But here it is not like that. The lady is sitting with the child. The mother is, that, gran that grandmother of the child is sitting here like this. And the man is coming like this. There is a painting. There comes Papa with his bottle. Style, you see, uh, is, you can say realistic mostly, not surrealism. You see, there are different styles. At times, I try to do that Rajasthani style, uh, that is two dimensional it is. Ramayana, which I have made, about 15 paintings are here, that is a two dimensional style, that is a Rajasthani type of painting. But uh, now, then uh, sometimes I, impressionist, I can say mostly. You see, I don't go for very minute details, that it becomes realism, you know, everything as you find in a camera. When a camera is there, why should a man work like that? That's how it has changed. From uh, that uh, old time, Reverma and all the great artists, they used to do realistic painting, that is more than a uh, photograph it is. But then the people came and said, why do you do like that, when there is a camera can do that? What is your contribution? So that Cubist class of painters came, that Picasso and all those people, Cezanne and all those, they came. So they said, you should come, uh, convey the idea what you have got, project it through your medium, that is what is to be done. So I normally do something, it's a semi-abstract, you can say, not uh, totally abstract. The viewer must be able to get what is in mind. tried uh, acrylics which I am doing. See, I started with the watercolors. Watercolors, one thing I found is it's a very difficult medium, mind you, but uh, the preservation is difficult. The papers, you know, you have to either frame it, then carrying with the glass frames is difficult. I being in, was in the army, so it's very difficult for me to carry from place to place. But uh, oil, canvas can be rolled, put it, and again you can open it up. So that was the, the recent one is uh, acrylic, but I still prefer oil. That's traditional medium. I, most of my, 90% of my paintings are oil. Now, then I try acrylic and oil. Acrylic I start with and then finish it with oil. Color selection, I can't see what is my favorite. You see, look, it is like this, you know. I get an idea. See, I have a strict routine. I start in the morning about 4 o'clock with some meditation, some yoga. And, uh, and then I sit sometimes there in my, there is a room about this house. I get there at about four. Then I sit, contemplate on something, I get some ideas. Then I come down to my studio, write down a script. After that, I start thinking, how should I compose it? Then I make a sort of thing, whether it should be in a triangle-like thing or a square-like thing. Then colors, I think it is all God tells me. It is all His vision. It is not me doing, it is all His doing. I will never say this is my work, it is all his doing. I am only an instrument in his hands, I believe like that. 
all colors why it is yellow why it is blue is nothing of my favorite you know it is his favorite and it is he who is doing it and not me No award. It is all people. You have come here. It is an award. Why should you take travel this twenty kilometers and reach here to meet me? It's an award for me. I don't think that uh, a medal given by so and so. If I have got some uh, friends over here, they can give me an award. And uh, you know, uh, I made a painting of Chattambi Samiyal, and uh, that was taken by Katakala. Some people in Katakala. So they said you must come here. I went there. They presented me with a pornada, and they said this is because you have made such a painting. A thing like that happened. Otherwise, no medals and nothing. I treat biggest award is like this. You are here; it is an award. <laughs> What else? Otherwise, why should you come here? Tell me. How can I meet you? No, we won't have met. This is an award. So many people have come. Durdarshan has made a documentary out of me. There are so many retired colonels, generals even, to wonder. There is no documentary about anybody. Why about me alone? Isn't it a big award? It's the biggest award I can say. <laughs> so that is an award. See, my favorite painting which I have seen, I can't tell you. And same thing about my works. They are my children. I can't tell you which of my uh, one of my which is your best painting or what you like the best. I can't say. And, and I have I don't take any role models also because it's something like a handwriting. You write in a way, I write in a different way. He writes in a different way. So similarly, every artist has got his own style, and it is good for him. You can't say this fellow is better, the other fellow is bad. Now, Devar Mai is a very famous artist. His style is of his own. Because he is an artist by himself, his style is of his own. So like that, uh, Michelangelo, he has got his own style. See, actually, India has got a great traditional heritage. You have got a heritage, you know. Because everything is starts from here. There are a lot of foreigners coming here to study that. But some for unfortunately, foreigners are more attracted than Indians in our traditional things. Because you see, I used to go to this Nayar Dam at uh, Shivananda Ashram, where foreigners come to study yoga and Vedanta. Every year, I have a program there. In the New Year's, they have a cultural week that I go and give a talk on spiritual culture and I show some paintings on our spiritual subjects. and i have seen the interest they take is so much which i have not seen from any indian gentleman see i have sold my painting i don't uh, you know keep the 20000 25000 i don't uh, so far i have sold paintings worth about 2.25 lakhs it's about 10 15 paintings so, sometime a painting was sold for 30 3000 rupees a painting once i sold for 6500 Another painting I have told for sold for five hundred rupees. Somebody comes and he wants a painting. He says, "I want this painting, but I don't have money." I said, "You take it." 